I knew it had to be here. Luke Caristo is just hours away from watching a longtime dream of his become a reality. All the background stuff, see how many tickets we've sold. Three years ago, he packed up his life and moved to Spokane, a city the Utah native spent time in every summer of his childhood attending hoop fests, shaping memories that would ultimately lead him to a passion that's now been transformed into a career. Yeah, I mean, the, the basketball community to me means everything. That's why I'm doing this, right? I want to add to, I want to build on. Real Rat is a basketball-inspired pilot Luke's been working on for three years. The idea started in film school and continued out of his home that doubles as a studio so at the moment. This on here. Everything from the promo posters, acting, directing, and editing the project is all work that Luke has taken on to make the show happen. Through the trials of COVID caused delays, a local cast and crew was assembled. Now, the time has finally come to premiere. Which was crazy because the gym was like, you know, we didn't have that like blocked off. It was just people are in there doing their own thing and we worked around them. But. Capturing the essence of what basketball means to Spokane is one of the goals Luke set out to accomplish with the show. You do this for the shooting itself. As the filmmaker reminisces on his notes, there's a few last stops to be made around town. It's like the ultimate cathedral of basketball. The warehouse is where a large portion of Real Rat was shot. Paying homage to the gym is something Luke believes the hoop community in Spokane will appreciate. <sighs> Keep these bones moving, up, geez. That's right What's there. Up, <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of hits me. It gives me the chills a little bit. All right, we didn't want to give too much away, but Luke, the cast and crew will all be at the Magic Lantern Theater tonight, debuting this brand new show. A Q&A will follow afterwards with any questions that any of the Hoops community has. Reporting live in Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2 News.